This is the last bartender. I'm doing another tasting and I got spoiled. I've been tasting all, all week. Um, I, I went to see my guy um, at my liquor store that I go to and just happened to have uh, three reps walk in while we were, not two reps while we were, we were in there. And they had three different, um, they had a Sotol, a, uh, um, a Mezcal, actually and two Mezcals um, and got, got to do some tasting. Although one of them was those, uh, what are they called? Something in Yeho, um, ultra, not ultra, it, it's the in Yeho that they put it in a barrel and then they filter out the barrel. So it's clear, it's clear like this, but it's an in Yeho. It's been in a barrel for years. I don't, I don't understand that. Why do people do that? Doesn't make any sense to me. We all know, well, if you paid attention to these videos, you know that I don't like anything that's been in a barrel um, just because it doesn't agree with me. I don't like whiskey. I mean, I, I do, but I don't like, I can't drink a, a few of them because it will give me a hangover and I'm, I'm worthless the next day. Um, but yeah, I got to, ch to try a few things yesterday and I was there to get a bottle. So I got the bottle. This one, they, there's more, there's pricier ones than this Armor Mata. This one though, it's only 150 liters. It says, you know, 150 liters, well water, underground oven, obviously. Uh, the region, Las Virginis, Tamalupis, um, natural fermentation. That's pretty funny. Um, proof adjustment, heads and well water. Well water, you know, I, I, I get that. I understand adding a little bit of water, um, especially when it's super hot. And I, I'm surprised more mezcals don't say that because they all do it. Um, distillation, twice... Um, oh, it's a, it's an ensemble and it is, uh, what are the three that it is? It is, uh, 33% Aspirama, uh, 33% Univitata and 33% Americana. All right. I don't want this to be too long. So let's give this a try. Um, they do the, the dipped in wax top here. Hopefully it won't take me a half hour to get through. Apologies, that was a bitch. The uh, the wax got all stuck to my hand, so I haven't popped it just yet. So here we go. I can get. Oh, I love that sound. I hate that wax though. Oh God, don't fall in there. Okay, I can do it from this side. Yeah, be careful with these wax ones, especially the wax that's thin and very sticky, which I I don't. They need to be that thick wax when you do this, people. So I don't look like an ass. Um, no, but it should be. Amor Mata. This is actually one of the ones that I stumbled into uh, the other day in the tasting. This is two tastings ago that I stumbled into. And um, I have to be honest, I had, I'm sure I had COVID a while back. And if the the stars are, are not aligned right, my sense of, of taste is kind of off. So I didn't really get a whole lot. I, 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 I don't think I got as much out of it as I could have. So that's why I'm doing this one again and why I, I have the whole bottle. Okay. Kind of earthy. Not really smoke, but like kind of, you know, uh, it kind of smells like Campari tastes, like that after bitter kind of earthiness. All right, let's give this bad boy a taste. Hmm. It has smoke that stays with it, but it doesn't overpower. It kind of stays in the background. And it does have a little bit of a journey, but what I'm getting stays in here, kind of, woo, woo, instead of going, whoa, whoa, which for me is, um, it's either indicative of a, you know, mellow spirit that you're, that you're drinking, or it's indicative that there's not overpowering f uh, flavors, which, which is not a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It just kind of is. But let me take another sip because that was my first one. I read something where 
just because I wanted to see how many bottles. I, I mean, I couldn't believe that there was uh, 150 in liters in this lot. And uh, I found a bottle of it online. I was surprised. But um, yeah, once this is gone, it, it's gone. But it said something about it being sour. Maybe it was. A, it had to have been a different lot because I, when I read it, it said that the lot was two. It was the same bottle, same everything. But it said the lot was 220 liters. So it must have been a different one. And these things, when you're doing this in this artisanal way, they're not going to taste the same every time. Because you're going to have different sizes of the piñas, the different agaves are going to be, you know, you want them to be like relatively the same age. And yes, they look all uniform, but they're going to taste different. And you could get one out of the ground 20 feet away from another one, and it could taste completely different. So that's one of the cool things about uh, uh, mezcal tasting and why I love doing it so much. All right, let me kill this thing. It's really good. Um, I, I can't I can't 100% trust my palate right now. Um, it does have a little punch like you're drinking mezcal, but the perfect one, the perfect punch. Um, some of these ones like the Coke El Araqueño, it's almost too smooth. This has a little bite, but not a stringent bite. It just like lets you know you're drinking uh, mezcal. It's wonderful. Amomata, uh, these freaking, who are these people? Um, it's, I hate this, the way this sounds. Of Spine and Vine LLC from Napa, California. It makes you want to kick them square in the nards, but... It's actually really good, and if they're doing this in a sustainable way, good on you guys. Keep it coming, because this stuff is wonderful. This is the Amar Mata uh, Ensemble Traditional, and uh, it's fantastic. So get it if you can, and enjoy it, especially this 150 liter lot, because that's how you know which one of the um, ensembles you have. So hope you enjoy it. This is the last bartender. Happy drinking.